my loves, so welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a highly, highly requested review. I'm sure you guys have already read the title, and it's going to be on the Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Talc-Free Face Powder. It has a little bit of a long name, and this is my favorite powder foundation. I have tried a bunch of powder foundations, high end and low end. This is what I have on my face right now as foundation. I have used this as a setting powder as well, but I love it for days where number one, it's really hot. During the summer, I use so much, like every single day, I use powder foundation because it's really hot. So number one, I use powder foundation when it's really hot outside and I don't feel like sitting in my room and caking on a whole bunch of makeup. And number two, for those days when I'm really in a rush and I just don't have the time to spend more than 10 minutes on my face. So I had mentioned in an earlier video that during the whole summer, I don't use foundation on my face at all or at least liquid foundation. It's either a BB cream or a powder foundation and I have a full review and tutorial and demo on the BB cream that I use which is the Garnier for oily skin. I still love that product but for days when I just don't want to mess with liquid at all, I don't know why I can't speak, I just use this powder foundation and again I don't need to wear any liquid underneath it. It's just this powder foundation and again I have it on my face today so you guys can see the amount of coverage that it gives me. So before the summer is over, like I said, I already did a review on my favorite BB cream for the summer and now this video is going to focus on a review for my favorite powder foundation. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is coverage and like I said, I apply this foundation when I'm in a rush or when it's too hot outside. but. Pretty much year round, I still want full coverage every single day. I'm just a full coverage type of girl. Not every girl is like that, but I do have a lot of acne scarring, a lot of hyperpigmentation, blackheads, blotchiness, redness, just overall problematic skin. And I know a lot of you guys tell me that I'm crazy because you see my videos with no makeup on, but to be honest with you guys, the camera washes out all of the flaws, my studio lighting washes out all of the flaws, my skin looks a lot worse in person than it really does on camera. So I do like to reach for full coverage products and this powder gives me full coverage and again I love it because it covers like a liquid but it's a powder. So basically what my little routine is, is in the morning I'll wash my face and I'll apply my moisturizer. My favorite one is by CeraVe. I let that set for at least 5 minutes before I put anything else on my face. Then I'll go in with a concealer just underneath my eyes. I don't need to put concealer on any of my redness or my acne marks or hyperpigmentation or scars. I let all that sit by itself. The only place that I put concealer is just underneath my eyes and that's only to brighten up my under eyes because I really like that look. So then after that, you know, I put the concealer on and then I apply the powder. I apply this all over my face, every single part of my face I cover with this powder and let me show you guys what I use it with. Now I actually made a mistake in my back to school makeup tutorial. I told you guys that it came with this little puff. It actually didn't, that was my mistake. I picked this up from Sally Beauty Supply. What it does come with is one of these little brushes and you guys can see I still have the plastic on it because I really don't use that at all. I like to apply it with a powder puff like this because I get full, full coverage that way and I think I picked up a pack of these for like $1.99 at Sally's. So what I do is I just swipe it onto the powder and I swipe all over my face and I'm not going to be doing a demo in this video because I already did that for you guys. I filmed it and I put it up and that is in my back to school quick and easy makeup tutorial. I think that this is perfect for before school because it takes like two minutes to do my foundation. I call this my foundation when I'm applying it because it, it acts like a foundation. So if you guys want to see a demo um, and see this like live in action, I'm going to link my back to school makeup tutorial down below for you guys. So this powder 100% when used with that puff covers any acne, any redness, any scarring, anything that I have on my face and one thing that I really love about this powder is that it minimizes my pores. Now I don't know if you guys saw my video on the bare minerals ready foundation. It's, an, it's another pressed powder foundation that I absolutely hated and that was because it really magnified my pores. I don't have that problem at all with this one and this is like $10.99 at the drugstore compared to the bare mineral one where it's like $30 or something like that. I think this is so much better and another thing with a lot of powder foundations especially me like I use my face a lot when I speak like I'm very expressive and I raise my eyebrows up and down and I smile a lot so a lot of powder foundations will get stuck like in the lines around my mouth and I'll always get this line like right in between my eyebrows with a lot of powder foundations but not with this one I actually don't even pair it with a primer just my regular moisturizer I don't have creasing I don't get blotchy throughout the day it has great lasting 
power. I would say that I get a good eight hours of wear out of this foundation, which is perfect for me. I really don't need my makeup to last any longer. So eight hours and then I get a little bit of oil breakthrough. It actually starts out as a very, very matte finish, but throughout the day, it kind of gets a little bit more of a glow, like a dewy look, which I like because nobody is 100% matte and I'm all about natural looking skin. So you need a little tiny bit of shine, not greasiness, but just a little bit of dewiness to just kind of poke through and it really looks like your skin. If you want to use this powder foundation but you don't want really, really full coverage, then you can use, I wouldn't recommend to use the brush that it comes with, it's really a piece of crap. Just use any big fluffy brush and that will give you more of a sheer medium finish and when you use it with a sponge that will really build up the coverage. I believe this comes in eight shades and I wear the shade Buff Beige, which is very yellow toned. A lot of you guys know that I have a very yellow or golden undertone to my skin but they have ones that lean more pink, ones that lean a little bit more orange, and ones that lean a little, bit, a little bit more yellow, which is the shade that I fall in. So again, buff beige. And actually on the front of the package, it says minimalist formula helps reduce irritation and breakout, which is another key, key reason to why I love powder foundations. I just feel like I don't suffocate my skin as much, that my skin can breathe a lot better when it doesn't have like a very heavy liquid over it and it just has powder and a lot of you guys have asked me in my updated skincare routine and you know my makeup tutorials you told me that you've never seen my skin look so good and I can honestly say that's because I've been laying off of the liquid foundation I'm not gonna tell you guys that when I have an event or a meeting or you know something special to go to if I'm going out for a date night I do wear liquid foundation because I don't know, sometimes I feel like I want like a full, full, full on cake face. I love makeup, so a lot of you girls know what I'm talking about. But for every single day, I have been using powder foundation and I really do see a difference in my skin just clearing up. So overall, a powder foundation is it's convenient, it's better for your skin, and you can still get that full coverage look. And this powder actually contains SPF 16 and it comes with 0.3 of an ounce. Works great as a full coverage powder foundation or just a setting powder if you just want to put it over a liquid that you already have on to just give you a really, really flawless finish that it works that way too. <laughs> you can pick up Physicians Formula at CVS, Rite Aid, Target, Walgreens, uh, Walmart, all those places like that. I believe that I picked mine up at CVS so it was a little bit more on the expensive side but I know you can get it cheaper at Walmart and Target. Those are usually the places that I would check first and that's pretty much it. I do want to say that this video is not sponsored. Physicians Formula has no idea who I am or that I'm making this video or that I love this product so much. So yeah, I hope that this helped some of you guys out. If you want to see it live and in action, if you want to see um, what it actually covers up on my face, I'm going to link my back to school makeup tutorial down below, which is a really quick and easy 10 minute tutorial for every day before school. And that's pretty much it. I'm sorry guys that it took me so long to come out with this, um, but I know a lot of you guys were waiting for it, so better late than never. Thank you my love so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye.